How's it going, everyone? Today we're going to be reviewing the Hot Toys Mysterio figure from Spider-Man Far From Home. When this figure was first announced, I was blown away. I knew when I saw the first photos that I had to have this figure. I love the box design. It's really a nice, unique, see-through part right there, which is really kind of creative way to show Mysterio's dome helmet. And I just like the way the box opens up. Hot Toys designed certain boxes that are amazing, and the artwork is amazing too. And then you get more artwork on the inside with Spider-Man and the drones and the Mysterio's fist right there. Really cool. This is why I never throw away Hot Toys boxes. Um, this can be kind of messy sometimes, these, uh, these style of boxes, because they can tear easily if you're not careful. Um, but other than that, I love it. And then you have to open it up at the top. And then we remove the plastic covering, and this is what we see right off the bat. Of course, I've already opened this figure before, so it's not exactly the way it looked when I first opened it. Um, so just first impressions of the figure. The way they had it is they took the cape in the back of the box. It's kind of tricky. And here we have all the accessories for the Mysterio Hot Toys figure. Uh, starting off with the uh, effects here, um, these are some of the effects that you can put on to two of the hands that it comes with. And like I said before, with the Django Fett review, I like the effects. I think it's amazing that Hot Toys goes above and beyond to give us these. I don't think they look bad. I just don't tend to use them that often because they're, they're not, compared to other accessories, they're not the most realistic ones. Um, but if you have certain lighting, and you want to do photography and add special effects and post, then these effects are amazing. And I hope Hot Toys continues to give us effects like this. What you do is you take this hand and you try to make it, the fingers go into those crevices for the fingers, like so. And it should fit just like that. And then you have the effect attached to the hand. Now it only works with this hand sculpt. And since we're talking about the hands, it was just kind of a relaxed hand with nice details on the gloves. And then an open hand, what you call jazz hands, kind of more dramatic effect. And then as per usual with most Hot Toys figures, you get two closed fist hands. And no, unfortunately the fingers don't articulate and I wouldn't expect them to, but they do have amazing detail on the fingers and the texturing. For that size, you wouldn't expect. But with Hot Toys, of course, I do expect this because they really good at details. And then when you remove the cape, you can have this figure without the cape, I'll show you later. You would replace the empty spots with these eyes here on either side. And they just peg in, no magnets or anything. Now, I did have trouble getting one of them in actually when I first had the figure. We'll see if that happens again. And speaking of a, more effects, you have the smoke effects, which are pretty cool. I mean, they, like I said, you know, they look better with the, with the right lighting. Right now, they look kind of, you know, you know, you can tell they're made of plastic. When you have the right lighting and effects and post-production effects, then you can make it look really amazing. So, like I said, I love, I'm, I want them to keep continuing to add these effects. And at the same time, you know, just push the boundaries of these effects. Maybe in the future, as technology advances, they'll be able to put lights in these or something. I think it'd be really cool if it like lit up and changed. It would probably give it more, more life to the smoke. Either way, it's amazing. And then of course, you have the stand with the Spider-Man Far From Home logo, plastic logo, unfortunately, nice artwork, the claw grabber style stand so you can make them fly, which you can adjust and bend every which way. And last but not least, what everyone's been waiting for, the head sculpt. A lot of people have been complaining about the head sculpt when they first saw the photos. I'm just glad we got a head sculpt at all. And the first pictures were released, we didn't even think there was going to be a head sculpt. But Hot Toys included this at the last uh, minute, which is amazing. Not that they spent the last minute making this. We don't know how long they were working on it, but I think once you have this head sculpt in hand, it's much better in person. Photos don't do this head sculpt much justice. Um, 
and really the lighting, the photography, the lens you use all make a huge difference in why, how this head sculpt looks. But yeah, I think this, I think the likeness is pretty spot on to Jake Gyllenhaal when you have the lighting right. From certain angles, you can see Jake Gyllenhaal's likeness. Especially when you have the lighting kind of more above the head, you have more shadows, it gives it more realism. Then you kind of lose some of the texture details. And so here we have the Mysterio figure in full form. Um, let's go a little bit closer and see some of the details. What blows me away the most is the dome uh, effects, the way they painted the outside of the dome. Fortunately, split down the middle, but I don't know how else they would make this. You tell me. Um, and then the fact that they have a sculpted cloud on the inside with you know, just different paintwork. And the fact that this actually lights up is all just so amazing. In terms of the detail, I guess when you have the lighting right, look at the shine to this. Look how much this looks like real metal. Um, even right here, you know, the gauntlets, just amazing. The colors they use, the paintwork, even though it's a simple, just solid, rubbery kind of like mold, it's still quite a bit of paintwork and details that have gone into this. And even the boots, which I'm glad they did sp uh, split boot cut design to give more flexibility. But even the boots have quite a bit of texture. To them. Uh, there's some grime on them. There's wrinkles. There's it looks golden metallic. It looks real. Just pretty amazing. And on the back of the armor, you have details as well. The cape, the back of the cape is amazing. Some amazing printed details. You have a wire at the bottom of the cape for articulation. I tried to give it the fanning kind of effect. And of course the cape is supposed to uh, glow in UV light. The back of the helmet, you got details around the metal part, the metal ring. Of course you have the eyes and all of that stuff. And just the details of the uh, fabric of the suit itself, kind of like a rubbery like material. Uh, pretty amazing how they're able to do that. The texture, it's not just flat, there's texture to this. A little bit of stiff right here, but still some movement. It's a bit of a thicker rubbery type fabric. This isn't even light up right now, so that's how the light up function works. You have a switch right here. You interchange this with the head sculpt. Batteries go in the back. And you just flip this switch on. Now it's really, the one complaint I do have about this figure is it's really hard to put this back on because I always have a hard time getting this to go underneath the armor. So sometimes I'll just put it on like this. And as you can see, when you have it all on, lit up, it just looks amazing. That is the kind of effect I'm talking about. That's the kind of effect that when Hot Toys, you know, incorporate something like LED lights that are so small, you can fit them into this stuff now. That makes me love the effects they do. I just wish they would do that with more of the effects, maybe like the smoke, for example. It might be a little bit difficult, but I think technology is so advanced now I feel like it's possible. Um, so I, I really love this. The fact that it lights up is amazing. It just really brings the figure alive. So now everyone's probably wondering what the unmasked head sculpt looks like. And here you have the Jake Gyllenhaal style unmasked Mysterio head sculpt. And yeah, I think it looks amazing. I think the lighting especially right now looks really good. Um, yeah, I just think I think this looks like him from the movie, Quentin Beck. And of course, what is also really cool about this figure is that you can go with different looks. So if I wanted to remove the cape, um, I would start by removing the head sculpt. And as you can see, it's just a standard kind of fabric right here. It's kind of loose. It kind of makes it difficult to put the unmasked head sculpt on. But anyways, you, uh, what you do is you I get this focused here. 
So what you do is you take the cape off like this. I can't tell. If, I don't think there's any magnets in there. Yeah, I think it just sculpted in a certain way with hard plastic. It's where it pegs into these two holes in the chest. And then of course, you take those other accessories. Uh, you take these and put them in like so. They're a bit of a tight squeeze at first when you first have this figure. And then just like this, you can have the unmasked head sculpt look. And now it looks just like we did when he first met Peter Parker. So yeah, you can have all sorts of different looks. And if you want to go farther, you could actually even take off the gauntlets too. I can't remember if he had those on with this look or not, but and they can have him do the handshake when he first met Peter. So that's pretty neat. I like that. I like the variability. I don't know if you can take this off or not. I'm sure people will have found a way, but I'm not even going to try. But I mean, just look at that. That looks just like J. John Hall to me. But the lighting is just right. It's more detail of the gauntlets. I think the gauntlets are probably the best part of this figure. They just have so much detail to them. They're actually kind of sharp. Put the cape back on. I just like to hook it on like this. It's never quite perfect. Yeah, kind of get it close enough. And there you go. So in terms of articulation with this figure, starting with the head sculpt, with the dome head sculpt, um, can't really do much. Kind of limits it on what you can do uh, without it coming off. Can kind of turn it a little bit when you have it on correctly, but not too much. Um, in terms of the arms, you can move about up to here before the fabric stops you from moving any farther. And with the shoulder, you can also move about 90 degrees forward almost. And actually, it's a ratchet that you just realized. And then backward about 90. Elbow can move double, but not all the way because of the fabric and the gauntlet. And backwards stops there. Um, in terms of the hands, they're just standard articulation for the hands, you know, 360. And the gauntlets prevent them from moving too much side to side, but you can work with that as you go. And of course, you can take the gauntlets off. The chest and stomach, really no articulation at all because of this huge piece right here. You cannot really do anything. Um, in terms of the hips, you can limit it as well because, oh, well, that's cool. That's some detail right there. Um, limited as well because of the fabric, the rubbery type material. You can't really move it back hardly at all. Forward almost 90, but not even really much. And then the knees are ratcheted joints, which is awesome. I, I hope they continue to do more ratcheted joints. Double jointed knee, you go back there and then forward. And of course the split cut boot design lets you have more flexibility forward and back and side to side on a ball joint. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for that one, another head sculpt. So with the head sculpt, you can of course move 360, you can move about that much forward, you know, that much backwards. So you can have them looking up at the drones in the sky or, or whatever, or Spider-Man. And then, yeah, so you have some pretty good articulation for the neck, side to side as well out that far. So in terms of what I think about this figure, this is an amazing figure. This is one of my favorite Spider-Man Hot Toys figures, um, definitely. Um, even above Spider-Man, it's strange to say, but uh, I just think the design of this character is so interesting and so well executed by Hot Toys. The details and work is just amazing. Uh, the shine to the armor and the metallic look of all of the different pieces the functionality, the way the dome lights up, the paintwork on the dome, the way they make it look like a cloud, everything. It's just amazing. And then the bonus head sculpt that no one expected to have. I just think all of that adds to an amazing figure um, that has decent articulation in the arms and legs. Um, and just such an iconic looking character. Um, Spider-Man villains tend to be my favorite in terms of how iconic they look, how interesting they are. 
So of course, I'm biased. Uh, Spider-Man's my favorite hero. His villains all are my usually my favorites next to Batman's villains. Um, there's just something about them that just catches the eye, and that's interesting and fascinating and has a presence. And I feel like that's why this figure is at the top of the Marvel figures for me, because it has a presence. There's something about this figure. And there's so many things you can do with it. You can create all kinds of cool dioramas with this figure, illusions. I create a mirror diorama. Uh, and you can add more things to this figure. You can get really creative because Mysterio is all about illusions. And so to me, that just adds more value to having this figure. And then posing with Spider-Man and having the battles and all that stuff, because Hot Toys doesn't tend to make too many Marvel villains. Of course, now they're starting to a little bit more. Um, but mostly Spider-Man, which I'm not complaining because, like I said, those are my favorite villains. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think this figure is amazing. In terms of my Marvel Hot Toys collection, I would probably put this figure in the top five. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, maybe even the top three. You know, I'm not entirely sure where it is right now, but pretty close to top five or three. Uh, and so, yeah, I think this is an amazing figure. I'm glad I got it. This was on the top of my list. Let me know what you think in the comments below.